Lesson 41, due to many people telling me to analyze gold, here it is. I want to analyze gold for you guys. And at least you might you might get uh, the direction of this, uh, the, 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 the setup that you have in your charts. So what we'll do is that whenever you want to know the direction of a certain pair, a currency, a metal, indices, or whatever you are trading, you need first to start from the monthly. And I keep saying, guys, um, by the way, if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. This is lesson 41. I have done from lesson one. You can imagine from lesson one, we are lesson 41 in the month of October. You can imagine I've done 41 videos this October alone. It means I'm very, very passionate to train everyone here, more so beginners and people who are not yet profitable and have been in this industry for a very long time. So when you come to the monthly time frame, or if you want to do a top-down analysis, we need first to identify the market structure of the setup, market structure. Then we need to check the price action. Then we look on the Forex pattern. I think these are the three things that revolves around my analysis every single day. I want to have a bigger picture. Why? Because if I come and I am trading gold, I just need to know what am I getting involved in? What is the market structure? What is the price action and um, uh, the Forex pattern? So Forex pattern. So I want you to comment down below and tell me what pattern, what market structure do you think gold has? And you see, we need to come with an, an agreement uh, of something everyone is saying. What can you see? Is the market structure an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? Is it a ranging? Which market structure do we have? Okay, for me, what I can say is that this is more of a ranging channel. So the market has been ranging uh, for so long. So since last, since two years ago, August 2020, COVID time, and now we're in 2023. So the market has been in one place for three years. And that's why I keep telling people, don't trade gold. Like you can't hold gold trade. If you end, if you're trading gold, even when you're, if you're trading gold and you're, you're watching this video, you already know that you're scalping gold more than holding in position. Why? Because from a higher time frame. The market structure is a ranging channel. And what ranging channels means, it means that if this market breaks either side, either, either resistance side or support side, it means it will cover that distance. So you don't want to be caught in between. So are we in agreement that gold is on a ranging market? And being on a ranging market, you can't say for sure that gold is a long-term sell or long-term buy. And I think that's the first thing that you need to, that's the first thing that you need to separate from uh, from when you're doing analysis. So that if you enter a goal position is just to come, get in, and then you are out, and then you're doing what? You are, you are trading everything. So at the end of the day, you don't want to hold a gold trade. You just need to uh, target the market to, Let's say the levels, like you need to trade gold in levels, zones, because if you hold a position, it means that already you have chosen your fate. Why? Because this market can break either side. So we are not in a position of holding any trade. So if you're, if you're analyzing your market, don't attempt to hold. If you're analyzing gold, just scalp your way. And eventually once you're done, once you're done, uh, with a zone, just come back the following day and you'll get an entry. So that is something that you need to identify that, yes, I am trading gold. And because from the market structure is a ranging channel, I will not do what? I will not, I will not uh, hold my trade. So from the market structure is a ranging channel. And that's why I'm saying, eventually, maybe it's this, this month, Eventually, the market will break the channel and we can't wait for that channel to be broken or they can break on the downside. So the market can still go down and break. So we, we can't wait. So when it comes to price action, the previous candle, let me show you the previous candle. 
the candle of September, this, this red candle. So it's a bearish uh, momentum candle, meaning that sellers were strong. And the reason why even when you have a sell candle, the market is now bullish, it's because of the next thing that we always check, the Forex pattern. So the Forex pattern in this question here, the Forex pattern that gold has is a double bottom. So you might realize that we have a, 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 a very, very a good double bottom. So what, what we mean is that the first pattern is the ranging channel. The second pattern is the double bottom. And if the man closes like that, our double bottom will have given us, will have broken half. So if that candle closes like that, our double bottom will have closed uh, above half and it will be proceeding to the neckline. So in this trade, we have a neckline, we have a double bottom, which is our second pattern. So if this market break the neckline, as much as you're trading the channel, we'll be also trading this double bottom. So that's what we'll be trading, double bottom. Then you measure half, half of the distance of the double bottom. So the first take profit you might see once the neckline breaks, it will be at that area. So all these are just, uh, you see how you can say, this is my prediction, but I have to wait for the market to do something so that I may react. So according to higher time frame, uh, we are not told the direction of the market, at least if this candle closes like this, because it will be a bullish engulf, a momentum candle showing buyers are, have come in and it will have broken half, buy can still continue to go up. When you go to weekly time frame, the double bottom is still there. So half has already broke. The, the mistake many people do, they will enter by, but the only confirmation is daily, uh, is monthly. Why? Because it's a higher time frame and the double bottom is available both on the monthly and weekly. If the double bottom was not available on the monthly, this coming week, this week now is where we could be buying. But you can't buy. Why? Because uh, according to our time frame, the monthly has to close. Now, knowing this, and then and then uh, knowing that we are looking for buys, you can't buy at where the market is. We are looking for zones. So we have three. We have two patterns. We are looking for pattern three. Uh, and you already know pattern three will always support where the market wants to go. So let me remove the box. So what I want, I would encourage you guys is that you have understood. You can see what I keep telling you, if a double bottom is available, this double bottom is available on the daily, weekly, and monthly. So a double bottom that is available on all those time frames, the, I think the best way to trade that double bottom is uh, trading it on a higher time frame because to prevent yourself from getting into a very wrong trade. The only thing now we can do, because yes, first we can't buy right now. Are we in agreement why we can't buy? Because the monthly candle has not yet closed to show us that buy has confirmed. But do you know we can be looking for sell, uh, for discounted where places where we can buy. So the market can come to these two areas and activate a double bottom. You can see the market can come to these two areas and activate a double bottom. Why are we so confident that these are the zones that the market can come to, to activate and then go up and now give us a clear indication? Why are we so confident that yes, we cannot buy here the market, we cannot buy at that level. And you see, these are very, very strong zones. These are very strong zones. So once the market, market might break this very strong zone, you see, they attempted to break on Friday. So what if this candle comes and break here? Once they break this very strong resistance, this strong resistance, if the market breaks, eventually it might try to retest and it will retest to this area, which can make a possible double bottom. So you need to understand one thing, that once we have a possible double bottom, I think the, the number one thing of a possible double bottom is to, is to ask yourself, is it available on the higher time frame? Why? The only problem why we could not trade this double bottom on the daily was because it was on a weekly and monthly. But now, 
If the market comes back and retest these two areas, we might have a double bottom. So the question is, does this double bottom appear on the daily? Does it appear on the weekly? Does it appear on the monthly? So we will check with you. So those are the bottoms because if this market comes down, let's say activate here, and then fails to give us a WBB and the market continues, what will happen is that that zone is not what they are looking for. They're looking for the second one. That's why I have said, you just need to put your zones in place and then later on you will be able to know you'll be able to know the direction of the market. You can see the double bottom is still clear on the weekly and it's still on the monthly. But this double bottom, where the market you are hoping it will break. So for me, what I would actually want is this market. I'm taking this as a resistance because I'm not interested in that double bottom at the moment. I'll be taking this as a resistance. You see this one? I'll be taking this as a resistance so that if it breaks here, I'm looking forward for this market to do what? To come down. I'm looking for this market either to come down there or to come down to the next area. So once the market hits this area, because this double bottom, uh, even if you check them on the monthly, they are not there. They'll be very, very powerful. That's the only way you can trade gold. So this is how many pips the market to come down. This is how many pips? Like 664, 1,000 pips. So it might not go 1,000 pips, but 600, it can. So another thing, if this week the market breaks this resistance, we will ask ourselves, let's say, for instance, I'm just giving you all the possibility so that you don't be caught up and aware. What I'm trying to do here is giving you possibility. If this week, this candle that is on, the current candle breaks like this, the question we need to ask ourselves are two. Is this continuation of the buy? So is it continuation? Continuation? Is it continuation? Or is it a fake break? Because a fake break, the market can break and still go down. So fake BOS. So, for me, I would want us it breaks and it give us a fake because if it give us a fake, it will go down, activating a double bottom that is on one time frame and I can be able to trade gold. So the only way I want to trade gold is that I want to trade gold in a point of assurance, having one pattern, like I, I am very assured and having one pattern and again, I don't want to trade uh, gold in a rush or hoping i don't want to trade from the hoping area so this market uh once it breaks like this for it to be a fake out it has to have activated either double top so that the market can just cannot just go down out of nothing so it needs to activate either double top or on daily or on weekly so let's see if there's a, a an indication of a pattern somewhere so if we go to the daily time frame and the market, for instance, it breaks that area. Can you see the one candle resistance? The video that you have just watched on the strategy that can make you money was one candle resistance. And you see gold, we still have another one. So for me, it's better I, I predict, then I wait to react rather than being caught unaware. So there is a resistance here. My prayer is, the market to be vigorous, to break, to break, that is 361, to activate that double top. And this double top, guys, it's not on the weekly. Can you see? It won't be on the, oh, it will be on the weekly. If they come here, it will be on the weekly, guys. It will be on the weekly, meaning it will be a very, very, um, call what? A very, very weak double top. So it can be on the weekly. So the market can come here, activate on the weekly so that they can be able to go down. But the agenda is not to take the market down. Because if it is only on one time frame, it means it is very, very strong. So that double top that we are seeing here, the double top that you are seeing here, it is still available on the weekly. That's what we have realized. Let's get back to that again. Uh, daily. 
So I'll take this, take that, and then we check. So it is on the weekly. So if they tap here, the double top is avail available both on the weekly and on the daily. So the only thing we can check is on four hour. If we have anything below, like, do we have anything before that activation? Because one time frame is the only candle that can bring something funny. So on four hour, is still the same area. But we have this, can you see this, this one candle that I don't know if it has been broken. That one candle like that. Has it been broken? You can see some break. So let's, was it the black one or the red one? Let's go back and check. It was the black one. So what we are saying is that, what if already we have a double top that we are anticipating that we can get on or after half is broken? Already we have that double top, possible double top on four hour. Can you see it? Guys, can you see it? So we have that double top. Not what I have told you. I've told you there are areas that this market can come drop and get into and we should be ready. So there's that double top, very clear. The question is, is it, so that is the double top we have. Let's go and check. And you see it is there, it's the same. Can you see it has been activated, been activated. So the question is, this double top, where is our neckline? This is our neckline. We count our half. This double top, first of all, it does not have RBS. So that's our half. No RBS whatsoever, meaning is just to take the market down. So my analysis were right. I, I was asking myself what would make the double bottom get activated what will make the market calm down so we we are sure that there is no rbs no rbs so we want just to figure out that the double bottom is not on the daily the double top is not on the daily so where we are getting a double top this is where we are getting a double top you see here so in the four hour there is a reason why the market is selling down so if this market continue to sell down, it means it will drop 583 pips. So 583. And, and noting the way that we have so many news on USD, why not? This market can, can, can continue selling. So the question is, is our double top, is our dub, possible double top, has it given us an entry? That is the question. Has it given us an entry? Is this double top, is the double top giving us an entry? So make sure you analyze it on four hour and then now you can comment down below and tell me, what do you think? What do you think guys? So for me, what I think is that the double top already, it has given us a sell, a sell signal. You can see they have broken, a, a, I think the market woke up with a gap, because the market was here on Friday, woke up in the gap, broke, and then eventually did what? After breaking, it has gone up with how many pips? 119 pips. So the question is, what if this market can drop further, either to activate this area, 340, or to activate 586? You need to understand if the market, if this, double bottom comes to this area. You see this area? Yes, on four, we have a double bottom, but the question is, do we have a double bottom on the daily? Let's see. Do we have a double bottom on the daily? No. Another thing, there was a zone here and the market might come and test. 
So you might have a double bottom that you are hoping to have it on the daily, but on four, and that's 348 pips. So for me, what I, I see is that uh, the market is suggesting for a sell. So the market is suggesting for a sell, guys. And because we need to understand, if you go to two hours, you can see there's a resistance that the market is not able to break. Can you see? There's a resistance the market is not able to break. So for me, for me, I don't know. I'm thinking gold will sell. It will sell up to, it can sell up to 1945 or it can sell up to 1920 and then now go up with a pattern. So the only way we can trade this is trading with a pattern. So if we trade it with a pattern, if we trade this with a pattern and note, this area and this area, they are visible on the daily. Those zones are visible. You can see this one and this one are visible on the daily. The only one that is not visible on the daily is this one. So we are hoping the market can go back to 1945. So if you decide to trade gold a sell, for me, I'm seeing a sell that has been confirmed. If you're thinking to trade a sell, use stop loss, use the lowest lot so that we can see will the market hit this area? Once the market starts to hit this area, we will trade now that double top, double bottom. We will trade it, why? Because we believe that that is the market that, we believe that the market, we shall, we shall, we shall get like a complete double bottom going up. So those are the gold analysis. At the conclusion is that on four, we have an opportunity and the opportunity is a sale. So how you take this information, that's according to you. So if you need to sell, sell. If you don't need to sell, don't sell. If you sell, use lower lot size. If you're not my student, don't me, don't ask me on my WhatsApp if you sell, or oh, can I close this trade? That option is only for my students. If you're not my student, you're only YouTube follower here, kindly don't ask me such questions. So all the best, guys. Hope you'll trade gold. I'll do clear analysis and then I'll share it in the my te Telegram group. Make sure you join Telegram group if you want free signal, free setups. Make sure you click that link and join. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Love you so much. Bye-bye.